and welcome to my demo of the Bigfoot Bath Bomb from Lush and this is for Halloween 2022 and it's pink and blue all over. Um, it actually looks like a, um, a dinosaur foot to me rather than a, a Bigfoot but there you go. Um, apparently this is Calacas scented, I haven't tried Calacas before so I've got nothing to compare it to but it does smell very fresh and zingy and it's quite difficult to explain actually, but it's a nice scent, so I'm looking forward to using it. And this bath bomb is £4.50 and it weighs 120 grams, so it's one of the more affordable bath bombs. Um, but what I'll do is I will pop it in the water and we can see what it does, and then I'll read out the ingredients to you, because there is quite a long list with this one. Nice and colourful, I like colourful bath bombs. Um, so the ingredients on this one are coconut milk powder, it's got popping candy, so you should hear that in a minute, um, Epsom salts, Himalayan rock salt, lime oil, neroli oil, um, olibanum, resinoid, perfume, and then there's other bits in there, but those are the main scent notes. So looking forward to the popping candy. Love the colours already. I love blues and pinks and purples. So this was part of my big Halloween haul. So if you haven't seen that video, um, I'll pop the link in the description. It was massive, it cost me a fortune. Um, I ended up ordering 27 items. So if you want to see that, it's 46 minutes long, so you will need some time. And for those of you new to my channel, um, just a reminder that I will be doing a giveaway once I get to 250 subscribers and that will include some Lush products and some Body Shop products. So don't forget to subscribe because you'll have a chance to win. It's actually a lovely scent. It's filling up the bathroom really nicely and I love, I love all the colours. I can hear a little bit of popping candy. So it's five minutes now and it is coming to an end. A um, bit disappointed in the popping candy department. I didn't hear that much of it. I think they need to put more in. I'm just going to investigate and see how much of this is left, but I think there's only a tiny blob. <laughs> yeah, the smallest of blobs. So yeah, I think it needs more popping candy. But it does smell nice. So yeah, the colour of the water is lovely. I do, I do like that. And the scent in the bathroom is also lovely. So I will have my bath and then I'll let you know what I think at the end. Okay, so I'm out of the bath now. And um, I have to say that was a very nice bath, actually. Um, the colour of the water is lovely. It's like a purple, indigo sort of colour. And there is slight shimmer in there as well. And um, the scent is it's quite difficult to describe. It does have lime in there, but it's like lime with a twist um, because of the olibanum, which is frankincense, and then neroli, which is supposed to be really uplifting. Um, my boyfriend said he really liked the smell of this one as well and said it smelled quite zesty. Um, but yeah, really nice bath bomb. Um, the scent has lingered on my skin so far, so what I'll do is I'm probably going to edit this tomorrow, so I'll let you know how long it lasted on my skin. My only criticism is, and you know me, I'm always quite honest, is if there wasn't enough popping candy. I just the, the popping was so subtle, I could have almost missed it. So that's my only criticism. But if you're on a budget and you, you'd like to get a couple of bath bombs, then yeah, this one is definitely one that I would recommend. I would definitely buy this one again if I hadn't bought the whole collection, if I had some more money. But yeah, I've, I've never tried the Calaca scent before, but now I can see why it's so popular. So yeah, that's my opinion on this bath bomb. And I don't feel dry or anything, so I don't feel like I need moisturiser either, which is great. 
Um, but yeah, if you like these videos, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you want to. I'll be doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers, so um, subscribe if you want a chance to win. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.